This face that I have with us today is gonna look familiar because he is TNG royalty in a Madden show match god. Of course, I'm talking about the one and only MMG. Matt, hey. what's going on, brother? That's quite the introduction. I like that. Well, you know, I do be <laughs> chatting. I do be chatting. I do be talking. And obviously, you understand the concept of this show. We're gonna get a little spicy as, as uh, the questions get a bit harder. But being from the Midwest, I have to wonder, are you even familiar with spice? Dude, I'm so scared. Of okay. This right now. <laughs> Hey, you're excited. I am a you little bit. You don't got this in front of you. The basic gist of it is very simple. We're gonna start with some very easy, multiple choice questions. But remember, as the wings get hotter, so do the questions get harder. So the hardest question will have the hottest wing. You got it. Oh, that's so good. Oh, he's, he's a pro, 10 out of 10 over here. <laughs> Let's get things started because I got question number one ready to go. Here we go. I know that you've been watching Lion Games all your life, okay, and it hasn't always been the sweetest experience. At some point you think even just winning a, a single game seemed like the season goal, right? True. But there are two teams that the Lions have always consistently beaten throughout the team's history. What team do the Lions have the most lifetime wins against? The Bears? or the Packers? Oh my gosh. I'm actually quite impressed by this stat line, to be honest with you. I'm gonna say Green Bay Packers. Okay, so you're- I'm locking in Green Bay Packers. All right, well, go ahead and lock in that first wig. No. <laughs> Incorrect! I'm so cooked. All right, so what's this first one? Do you know the you know the spice? Yes, I actually do. What's it's, this? Uh, spice level one. Did so he... this is, should not be bad. Well, ideally, it should just be mild. Look at me, bro. Take a big old bite. Look. You know what mild is to me? <laughs> That's why we got the water and the milk for you. You see, find a couple of chews in. That's literally hotter than anything I would ever order. Really? It's hotter than anything I would consciously yeah, order. One. You survived it though. It wasn't bad. In 2012, Calvin Johnson set the single season record for receiving yards. Can you say the exact number? Oh my gosh, Cooper Cup is about 20 yards off it. Choice one, 1964, 1,946, or choice three, 1,923. It's A, 1964. You're damn right it is. I knew it, it sounded like it. It That's sounded right. like it. That's hey, what I'm talking about. Cooper Cup couldn't beat his, and he had an extra game. He did. Same quarterback, though, Matthew Stafford, both times. Well, you avoided Spice Level 2, so that Let's was go. jump into Spice Level 3. Why Let's not? Go. Let's get right to it. Which of these players did not receive a 99 overall card in Madden Ultimate Team 24? Is it Peyton Manning, Luke Musgrave, or Kadero Patterson. The only person who didn't get a 99 mm -hmm. is Peyton Manning. I don't remember Patterson getting a 99, but I know that Peyton's is a 98, so I'm going Peyton Manning. Wow, you are going to the next level unscathed. I'm wow. I'm locking in Peyton. I have wow. to. Wow. That. That's two for two. To. Wow. I didn't Look know Patterson guy. had a 99, though. I gotta go use that. What is the Lions' record in their past 10 Thanksgiving games? Past 10. Is it no multiple choice? Oh, no, no, no. We're I'm done with that. I'm just straight out. We're done with that. You know what's crazy? I think it's 0 and 10. I'm saying 0 and 10 because I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> is it really? No, I, Don't I can't, tell me You got to lock in before I can tell you anything. I'm saying 0 and 10 because I think it is. Okay. And, and you know what? I respect the heck out of that, but it's also wrong. <sighs> Not to say that. You got to give yourself. You gotta give I, no, I didn't team. give them any credit. You got to give them a little bit. They were 3 and 7. Not bad. They, you had three happy Thanksgivings with a full belly and a W. That's you just so forgot true. all about it. That's crazy. That's what I, I should have given them some credit. What am I doing? <laughs> Even a friendly like one. Yeah, right? Take a big old bite of that. Spice level four. So what do we got on it? Do we know? This puppy scared me. I do know it. What's on it? I can't tell you. <laughs> Sorry. Here we go. We got up in there. Level four. That's level four. You got up in there. I'm going to give you a good at least 15, 20 seconds to let it marinate and see where we're at. I think I'm gonna survive. You think you're okay? I think I might survive. Oh, these are gonna be so bad, aren't There's they? only three more higher than that, so like. Okay, I'm alive still. You're alive? Yeah, I can feel my eyes a little bit. The fact that you're actually removing the sauce with your lips, so that good, tells though. me like, okay. It is still good. That's true. Well, Matt, I think it's safe to say at this point, everyone knows and loves your Wheel of Mutt series. Very thank entertaining. You, thank you. Now, how many years have you been doing this series now? Oh gosh, 2018, so it's be seven years ago. Okay, seven years. Oh, I said that out loud. Yes. Whoa. That's a lot. That's wild. Yeah, it'll be the seventh year coming up. Well, tell me about the series. Is it gonna be evolving in any kind of way going forward? Is there any details that you're at liberty to share with us? Cause Ooh, I always like a good scoop. A little scoop. This real secret sauce, okay. I gotta keep on the down low. All right, that's fair. But fair. I will say, this will be the first time that I truly believe not only could I win the Wheel of Mutt Super Bowl, yeah. but the Detroit Lions could win the actual Super Bowl. Like I've never felt 
so confident. Yeah, my my whole like conscious life. Probably. We just haven't been good. Yeah. And we went all the way to the NFC Championship. We were this close. We really could have won that game. You're on the doorstep. And the Chiefs who won it, we beat them in week one. You did. So I think what I'm most excited for is throwing some big celebration for a huge Wheel of Mud episode. Nice. Right around the Super Bowl that hopefully the Lions are in. Our conversation is gonna turn back the, the hands of time a little bit because we're gonna be taking it all the way back to Madden 20 Wheel of Mud. Oh yeah. my God. I'm making him recall his knowledge for this one. This I like it a lot. Serious trivia. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Here we go for Spice Level 5 in your Madden 20 Wheel of Mutt finale. All right, your season oh finale. Oh my gosh, no way. What player scored the winning touchdown? Here's my two best bets okay. before I, it's not multiple choice, right? It's not. Okay, Lamar Jackson was my prestige okay. quarterback. He's nasty. I think I prestiged Dalvin Cook at halfback. Mm. Those two are excellent options and I would have prestiged one wide receiver, but it wasn't DK Metcalf. It might have been Justin Jefferson that year. Oh no. I'm going Lamar Jackson. You're going Lamar I gotta Jackson? I got to go Lamar. Yeah, Golden Ticket Lamar Jackson was so good in Madden 20. I feel like it could be him. Dag, man. Well, just like the playoffs, Lamar let you down. That ain't no. Him. I'm going to eat my wing. But Barry Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, cut the footage. <laughs> Yo, don't post that. So oh, this sorry. is my penance. I deserve this wing so take, much. Take a big juicy Dude, bite of that one. Look at how red this is, though. That's such a scary it's color. It's pulsating, bro. Don't say it. <laughs> I'm just saying. Just look at Pause. It. We got you. You got we me. Got you. They caught me. They caught me. <laughs> oh, no. I think four might have got me worse than five. Really? Conquered. Wow. Who is this guy? Midwest legend. So one of the most viewed videos on your channel is playing every Madden in one video. So you've had the chance to see how overpowered some players are in those old games, right? And you already know when it's an old game, they just, they don't even care back then. So your question is this, what Madden player was so overpowered, so OP, they actually inspired the developers to add a stamina and fatigue feature? It has to be Madden 04, Michael Vick. If it's not Madden 04, Mike Vick, I'm crazy. I'm locking that in right now. Okay, the fact that you just answered that off rip and it was correct, get this man some Level up. six? Get this man some Have you up. played 04? On level six. Dude, that's the worst experience you could have as a gamer is Madden 04. Level six question, that's yeah. a no-brainer for a Madden guy. Level one, that's some high-quality nerd NFL stuff. We should have switched. <laughs> Whatever. Just I gotta do. I gotta do level six. <laughs> you can make a case. You're a good sport for this, by the way. I, cause I'm just scared. So now every other guest who comes on there, you're gonna be up against the MMG standard, okay? Cause this guy sets the bar high. Everyone got so quiet. This That's, one's hot, isn't it's, it? It's. Oh my god. Uh oh. Whoa. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're in the big leagues now. We're in the big. We're hey, listen. It's getting tight out here. All right. Do you yeah, have any? Do you have hurt. any regret about that at all? I, I had to do it. You I, had to I, do I committed. It. I committed to it. That's a good lead up for seven. That is a good lead up for seven. Oh boy. And seven is what quarterback, including the playoffs, oh boy, has thrown the most career interceptions. Brett Favre, one hundred percent Brett Favre, and he clears everyone by hundred interceptions. And I'm still eating the level seven wing. It's Brett Favre. Take a bite. Wait, it's not with, Brett Favre? With the knowledge that you were correct. Oh, they, oh my Absolutely. gosh. Absolutely. You know, when they asked me this question, I had Eli. And then somehow I was like, nah, nah, it's Favre Bro. all the way. I was like, I didn't realize the discrepancy. And you're right. It's it's like over 80. The next guy on here, uh, George Blanda. Dude, Brett Favre is a generational ball hucker. Kids these days don't get how bad it is. You're complaining about your quarterback throwing up one interception. Favre did it every single game, bar none. This know. is for you, Brett Favre. This is for you, Brett. Brett Favre would want me to have this week. I would imagine He's so. He would He would do it. Okay, dude, like what? I mean- the Every other wing has looked like a wing. This looks like a wing dipped in just- It's seated and it's just dark. Come Bro, on. is this even a real wing? It is, I Did promise. Just we don't do tofu around here. It's the hottest stuff you could get and just put on a wing. Nah, get out of here. Whatever, guys, let's do it. That does not taste like a wing. Now that brings up the question as to what does it taste like? If it's so bad, can I exit? <laughs> can I leave? It's not getting any better, it's getting worse. How do people, why do people do that? Why would you ever want anything to be that hot? That's a challenge. Intentionally. You know, no, like if you're eating that, why would you eat that? There are people who pop it like popcorn. I'm not even kidding. Drink up. And we got refills on standby if you need it. I promise you. NFL TNG, baby. What the? Oh. <laughs> 
did it for the clip. He Bro, did it for the clip. I love this guy. My body temperature is going up. I love this guy. <laughs> you you just you just can't help but set the bar so high. Yeah, I the do standards are not lowered when you are in the building. I love that. That was okay. You asked me earlier if I had any regrets. Yeah, <laughs> that's a big one. That right might be here. one. Okay, that's up there. Well, I hope you didn't regret the show in general because I loved having you on. Amazing show. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I can't talk right now. You're fine. You're fine. No. No worries. Take a moment to yourself. All right, guys. Well, while MMG is collecting himself in more than one ways, I want to say thank you so much for watching the first inaugural episode of Hot Routes. I look forward to bringing the heat to more TNG stars throughout the season, and well, hopefully they can handle them if better, if not worse, than our boy Matt over here.